So you need a gift. You have no idea what to get somebody. And these people are wine lovers. I mean, they've got everything and nothing all at the same time. Well, I've got an idea for you. I was contacted by a company called Cobalance, and they've got a wine chiller, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to, well, I already unboxed it, but we'll do some unboxing. We'll do some testing, and we'll do it together. You and I, Wine by the Bay TV, let's get started. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Wine by the Bay TV. I'm your host, George Bachara. So as I said earlier, we are going to do a little product test today. I know the holidays are coming up right at this time while I'm shooting, but there's always a time and place where somebody you know needs a gift, birthday, anniversary, whatever, can't figure out what to get them. I've got a really good idea for you guys. It's called the Co-Balance. It's an electric wine chiller. Uh, it chills white wines. Uh, it holds red wines to temperature, all kinds of great stuff. So we're going to test it out. Uh, full disclosure, they did contact me and sent me this item for free, although I'm not being paid for the item. I should say for this video, I'm not being paid for it. I did get this for free, and I'm going to keep it, hopefully, if it works, uh, and we'll find out together. So let's get started. All right, so Co-Balance. And your is wife this... is here with you. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, Megan's behind the camera over there. She's going to be reading the instructions yes. to give me a better idea Ooh. of what the hell Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Of what the hell is going on. Uh, with this thing and hopefully she doesn't put a white piece of paper in front of the camera and destroy everything but we'll see what happens Probably. let's take a look at the item first maybe you want to talk about it sure so it's called the wine cooler for one bottle by co-balance okay so i'm gonna we have some uh footage i took of me unboxing so we'll put that in sporadically as things go by and by the way i have a couple of bottles of wine i'm gonna move them out of the way for right now and we'll talk about them when we're at that point so let's look at the control panel and display. It's can, pretty simple. Can we start at the back though first? Oh yeah. Okay. The power. So there's a power cord back here. Well, there's a power cord right here. Yeah. So okay. it can plug into the wall or a car outlet. Yeah, like a car outlet. Because they're talking about. I went and looked on the uh, on the uh, Amazon uh, web page that they have. Right. Where they sell it, and it's used for cars, boats, campers, as well as you know regular power. Which is pretty cool. So you so can bring little, it on the road. Yeah, there's a little uh, plug-in area right there. That's your big fan. Then there's an on and off switch that gets the thing going. Right. All right. So why don't we plug it in? Okay. We're going to use the wall outlet because we don't have obviously a car outlet right here. Yeah, and my yacht is in, in for the winter, so. It's yeah, they not did possible. say this was a good gift for someone with a yacht. Yeah. So keep that in mind. All right, so we got a control panel display, uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit, so you can get your wine um, chilled, Celsius or Fahrenheit. There's an up and a down arrow, which is pretty self-explanatory to put your wine at whatever degrees you would like. And temperature ranges are five degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And George says that's plenty cold for any bottle of wine. Yeah, so depending on the style of wine and what you're trying to do, like a lot of people when they're drinking white wine especially, just want something cold that's going to like cool them down, especially in the warm months. That's fine, but to really taste the wine, you want to be on the upper end. And of course, the lighter the wine, the colder you can serve it. So as you get into the more buttery, rich whites and then into your reds, you want to raise that temperature a little bit. Um, there are plenty of places to go where you can see charts for recommended temperatures. And I believe on their Amazon page, they have a little chart for recommended temperatures for different styles of wine as well. Absolutely. So um, you can increase the temperature, decrease the temperature. You will see when he plugs in, it's really a nice bright white display that you get, which is cool. And then there's an on standby, but the power button and what we've learned from that is like when it's blinking, it's actually getting to the temperature that you set. Let me stop you for a second. So if you don't see anything on the display, no lights, that means you need to turn the power switch on on the back. Oh, got it. Perfect. That doesn't turn it on, but it turns the little button on. Right. Then you have a little button here, like a little touch button. That's the power. Right. Okay. Okay, so, and then let's try and set it at some degree type, babe. Okay, so hit the little button. 
And now see how it's blinking? That means it's not at 46 degrees yet. It is getting to 46 degrees. Yeah, but I hear the fan running already. I can feel it like chilling the internals. Right. There's also a way to check. Oh the, yeah, the, the internal in temperature. Right of the actual wall inside of there is if you press the F slash C button and hold it for a long amount of time, then you will see where you're at with the With inside. the internal temperature of the unit, not yes. of the bottle. Now, initially when I read that, I thought that was of the bottle. Right, it is it not. It is not the case. Typically wine that is room temperature chilling to like a white of like 50 to 45 yeah. is gonna take anywhere between 20 and 30, 35 minutes. Right, so we kind of found with the room temperature bottle, you wanna be do a little pre-planning because it's gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes to get cold. Yeah, absolutely. And not only that, like you pull a white wine out and then you start talking to folks and you leave it on the table and mm -hmm. then it warms up to room temperature and now it's warm white wine. That's one of the great functions. It's not only to bring the temperature down, it's the right. whole temperature. Yes. So, you know, even with your reds, I mean, this can be set to 60 degrees, which is ideal for most reds. Mm -hmm. um, it's good to hold this temperature uh, properly. Right. That way you can enjoy the wine at the right temperature throughout your entire experience. Right. And I kind of look at this as like an ice bucket without the ice. Yeah, very true. In fact, I think they say that somewhere in the literature. Okay, so what else have we got to talk about before we put a bottle of wine in here? Um, I mean, I think that that's pretty much the, you know, kind of odds and ends of the device. Okay. There's not much else that I'm seeing in the pamphlet. So it does come with a six month warranty card. Okay, well, which that's is cool. Hopefully, if it doesn't break right out of the box, you won't need the warranty. Sure. Okay, but here's a couple things that it does come with that are in the box. And that is a uh, wine pour aerator. Yes. Of course, I didn't have the box open because that would make sense. Nice there you and go. sleek looking. So this is a pour and aerator. And then they have a combination pour and wine stop to prevent the wine from getting overly oxidated if you're not going to drink the whole bottle. And they look like this. They're in one of these boxes. So that's the pourer. Nice. Okay. Good help with splashing. And this is the, this is the stopper. Nice. It's a nice little. And it has like a little pump thing. Bonuses. Okay. Great. All right. All right. So I guess we should talk about bottle size next. I mean, because obviously there's a limited amount of real estate in here. Right. So the thing is that most standard bottles like these, the 750s, are going to go right in. Yeah, no problem. Okay. And notice the angle. The angle really works well because that way you can open the wine, leave it open so it continues to get oxygen without it spilling over or falling over. True. And also, if you're doing, like, if you have an expensive bottle and you want to keep the bottle, if you're using an ice bucket, it's going to, like, screw up the label. Oh, yeah. The water is going to get in there. It's going to loosen the glue. It's going to screw up the label. This way, if you want to hang on to the empty bottle after the fact, you could always do that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Standard champagne bottles. Yep. Believe it or not, they fit. Yeah. Look at that. Boom. Right in. Good for brunch. Okay. Yeah, probably very good for brunch. Not that I would ever have brunch, but if I did. Your wife likes brunch. Now, these bottles, uh, like the PJ, uh, the, the L&Ps, uh, Dom Perignon, the ones that are wider at the base, they do not fit. They'll make it a little bit. Right. But they pretty much don't work. Right. So it's not for every single bottle, but it's for most bottles. Most um, even the even like the German stuff, yeah, uh, that are like taller and thinner, they'll fit in here as well. Great. Okay. All right. So what we I guess what we should oh, do? It's up to temp, babe. Solid solid light. So that means we are at forty six degrees. Internal temperature in the chamber. Yep. Okay. Not the wine because there's no wine in there, obviously. Right. So we're gonna put this in here and then we're gonna talk about it after it cools down. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, we let this wine cool off for a little bit. I poured a little bit in my glass. I guess I should tell you what we're drinking, huh? Yeah. Okay, so this is the La Linda Chardonnay Un Oak 2021 from Mendoza. Is it from Mendoza? It's from Argentina for sure. Yes, from Mendoza. Okay, 13% alcohol, sorry, 13.4 alcohol by volume. This is an Un Oak Chardonnay. 
Got it from Vinus Reverie, and I'll put a link in the description box below. Also, by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon, and that way every time we drop a new episode, you'll be the first to know. Also, leave a comment if you have any other good ideas for gifts for wine lovers. I know at this particular time, we're coming into the holiday season, and of course, gifts are needed all year long. So even if it's not Christmas or New Year's, you're going to want to definitely go in there and figure it out. All right, but anyway, so we'll taste this, Alinda. And like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. I will also leave a link in the description box for this particular item. So that way you can go uh, on CoBalance's website or on Amazon and pick it up directly from there. Okay. This wine is cold. Mm -hmm. Again, 20 minutes is, you know, I mean, honestly, if you had to chill wine anyway, it would take 20 minutes. I totally. mean, unless you're a psycho and you've got it in a water bath and everything else. And as you can see, even with the wine open, right, it's not going to spill. Beautiful. Okay, so that's great. Let's taste this wine, huh? Yeah, give it a little bit. So taste. what do you think you would use this for, uh, Megan? Like, for what kind of occasions? I mean, not just birthday or Christmas. Like, what else? Well, I mean, I think that this, with the price point being over a hundred, a little bit over a hundred dollars. 129, I believe. I mean, th that's a good gift. So that's like a retirement gift. That could be a baby shower. Oh yeah, you could take like this and the bottle of champagne, keep it on ice, quote unquote until the baby arrives and then you pop the champagne it's nice and cold absolutely That's a good idea. absolutely mm -hmm. um and if you're going to maybe somebody's house doing a little pre-drinking before dinner or if they're having a dinner party because a lot of people do that too. or having a dinner party then mm -hmm. you could bring it it is very transportable so i think that's cool it's also by the way i'm looking at it right now it's pretty low profile so if you have a smaller kitchen yeah like it's not like a microwave right it's not gonna take a whole no, large no, no, footprint no. Someone that has a smaller kitchen but really enjoys wine could either use this for yourself or you could use it, you know, as a gift for somebody else. Right. What about anniversary? The anniversary would be perfect. Yeah, like a 40th. Wedding present? A what about a wedding present? Oh, yeah. Or, a wedding or an present. engagement gift. Because, like, like a... no one else will give this. I guarantee you. Like, there's going to be a, a ton of silverware stuff and glasses and whatever. No one's going to even know about this thing. So hopefully, we're going to change think, that. I think, yeah, it's a special occasion. And I also think your friends who have RVs, this is a great RV gift. Yeah, or if you have one. I mean, and you like camping, but you like to drink wine, and you have that. What do they call it? Glamping? Glamping. glamping. Yes, glamping in the yeah, RV. Glamping. Yeah, exactly. If you want to glamp, this I mean, is it doesn't it. get any more bougie than this, right? All right you don't even right. have to have ice. And the other thing, too, is you don't have to keep up with ice. I mean, how many parties do you have where you have, you know, cocktails? you know soda on ice wine on ice and everything else this way you could keep like whatever bottle like a sophisticated bottle you can keep this for yourself totally going during a party and then you can keep the ice for like the kids sodas or you know if you need to do cocktails or whatever well and i imagine too once it gets you know down to the end you can pull that out and then put another bottle in to start going absolutely which would be ideal especially for brunch like you're getting to the end of the champagne for the mimosas you need to put a new one in mm -hmm. that's a great way to kind of yeah especially if they're now. already cold that yeah. way you can kill the last couple of glasses and open this one after you go perfect yeah good idea okay all good thoughts and of course christmas is is this is a great christmas gift especially for i mean you're not going to give a hundred twenty nine dollar gift to somebody that you barely know right but if it's like you know your parents or a boss or somebody somebody they have to like impress a little bit Shell this out. is something that'll make them feel good because I guarantee you they don't it's have different. to It's yeah. different. Or someone who just has everything. You don't know what to buy them. That's true. That's very true. So let's talk about this wine a little bit. So I'm going to put this out here. Again, this is the La Linda Chardonnay Unoak 2021 from Mendoza, Argentina. Got it at uh, Vinus Reverie. Oh, it has a nice nose. There was a little tropical component on the nose. It's got a little bit ever so slight buttery flavor, kind of undertone, but huh. there's definitely a lot of lemon and lime. Mm. Uh, yeah, the citrus. Yeah, I mean, I could be convinced that this is a solid blog. 100%. If, if someone like was insistent, a really high quality solid blog, I would have to buy that. Yeah, it does not have that buttery oak. No, but there's the a little bit of creaminess on it. I mean, it's not it's not like a stick of butter in your mouth, but there's an undertone. It's very nice. Yeah, this is a very good wine. 
Again, $13. I'm not sure you could do much better for $13. No, this is a um, great take to anything kind of wine. Yeah, and during the holidays, like again, this is the holidays great coming up. Great first wine. Good to serve like a walk in the door wine. Appetizers. No one will be like, eh, I, you know, I'm not a white wine guy. Yes, the shirt. I drink it, but I wouldn't buy it on yep. the white wine. However, if someone handed me this, I'm going to be like, nah, I'm good. It's almost like a palate cleanser. It could be in a little bit. It could easily be a palate right? cleanser. Right? It's like, mm, Excuse yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, and you could, this is a good first course. This is a good salad wine. Yep. A lot of possibilities for this wine. Totally. Um, so this is a this is a really good choice. Also, now this is a gift that you could give if you, oh, for if anything. you're just an acquaintance. Oh, yeah. Just even a like, coworker, thanks for having us like over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I Man, mean, I'm I think this, this is a win. I'm curious on the co-balance, can you put it down a degree and see how long it takes to go down one degree? Yeah, let's see. So let's say we want... 45. Okay. Well, it says it's... Is it blinking? No. Go Maybe because it's so close. Uh, yeah, it said three degrees. Mm, it's not blinking. So it takes roughly three or four seconds, and the internal is 42 degrees. Okay, so the internal is telling you, and then it's going to take a minute to probably to come up to 50. Get up to 50. Okay, yeah, I'm good sure to know. I don't think it's it's a big deal to move the temperature up. True. Because let's face it, you could just leave it out. You can see how cold though it is in there. You can see the condensation in there. Can you? Yeah. Which I think is pretty cool. Oh yeah, you, yeah. I can see like a little bit of like frost. So it almost. gets cold. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously some sort of metal, metal yeah, conductor. Yeah, that's great though. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's not hot. I mean, the fan runs a little bit so you hear it. Right. But I mean, it, you're not going to sleep with this thing on. So it's not going to keep you up at night. Right. Let's be honest. And I feel like another interesting thing is like, say you're drinking in another room away from your kitchen. You're like in your family room or down in the basement or something. This would be a great thing. Just you open a oh, bottle of wine. Oh, as a light. satellite thing ah. away from like your kitchen. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Different room drinking. All right. So, I mean, I think this is a win. I mean, $129, again, not cheap. Right. But if you're buying it for somebody that's important in your life, you're going to spend $129 anyway. And a lot of times it's going to go in a closet and never get used. This exactly. will get used. This will get used. This keeps your kid. I mean, if you have a knee freak that hates having like splashing things all over oh, the yeah. place, like ice thrown all over the place, this is big for them. It comes in a nice box. Yeah, it does. I meant to mention that before. The box is pretty hefty. And if you look at it, it's super yeah. thick. Really nice. It looks impressive. So when you wrap it and give it to somebody, you're like, oh shit, what is this? Oh yeah. So this is pretty important. Awesome. Well, I'd say it's a win. I'd recommend it. Yeah, I think I would too. Um, so again, go down to the links in the description box and check out uh, the the link for the Amazon page so you can pick it up directly from Amazon. And again, the beauty from buying from Amazon is they take stuff back. 100%. So if you get this and you're like, eh, I don't really want it or whatever the case is, they'll just send it back. Right. I mean, it's not a problem, but I don't think you will. I, I really feel like this is a very useful product, especially if like you have your life organized and you yes. don't want to have shit thrown all over the place. It looks good, mm -hmm. so it doesn't Sleep. look like it's you know cheap or anything no. like that sitting on your countertop. Um, one thing you do want to make sure to do is not to use it like in cabinets. Yeah, it does say or that. On, or on like un unsteady surfaces right. because this thing does have some weight to it. I would have, I think I would buy this. I would buy it too. Yeah, I would buy it too. So my recommendation is thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. Thanks for joining us. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The next video is coming up. So click the link wherever the heck it is. George Wine by the Bay TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Leaving this way, but a train's about rolling.